2017, there were as many as 3 million reported concussions. According to UPMC, 5 out of 10 concussions go unreported or undetected. Concussions could have numerous short and long-term effects, including memory problems and headaches. With all the recent data and statistics on the impact of concussions in sports, we thought it was an important issue to focus on. Our research began last year when one of our best friends got a concussion from a big hit in a game. It was first down and our coach called the play. It was a sweep to the right. So I got the ball and then cut in and I got hit by the first kid. And as I was falling to the ground, another kid dove head first on my head. So at that point, I kind of blacked out a little and couldn't really see. And at this point, I knew I had a concussion. Well, there was no doubt he had a concussion due to the severity of the hit. You start to think about all the smaller hits that could potentially cause concussions. Our microelectrical mechanical system, or MEN sensor, works by sensing the orientation of the player's head at three axes, X, Y, and Z. Not only does the sensor calculate linear acceleration, but it is also able to read vibration and shock. We know that no two concussions are the same. Our idea was to create an app that will collect data personalized to each player. We decided to write code using open source software so it will alert coaches anytime it reaches the threshold deemed to be a concussion. We used research from a variety of universities to help us develop this calculation. The code changed many times, but finally we found one that will accurately detect a possible concussion. After discussing our idea with our team's coach, who is also a doctor, we have discussed the possibility of adding a pressure sensor to the accelerometer so it can add an extra line of defense in making sure all concussions are properly reported. HeadSafe did not come without some design changes. We decided to switch from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth because it consumed less energy and it would be easy to pair each helmet with a QR code. After discussion with our software engineer, we chose to use a feather board with the Bluetooth on the same chip as our, our microprocessor. This board allows plenty of memory and processing power along with being small and compact enough to fit in any helmet. Our team had some difficulties connecting to Bluetooth through App Inventor. After seven different methods of coding to connect to Bluetooth, we finally got a connection. HeadSafe is now a fully working prototype that can be downloaded on any Android phone and connected with our sensor. As a high school football official for the past 12 years, the focus on head injuries is very important for our sport. If HeadSafe comes to market, it will make our sport better and more importantly safer for our athletes, coaches, and the entire football community. The HeadSafe team hopes athletes in all sports will now be able to play with the peace of mind knowing that no concussion will go undetected.